Birth control is a medication that your doctor prescribes, and what you have to remember is it has real effects on your body. So if your body changes, then you may need to change your birth control. So you want to start by looking in your medicine cabinet. So I'm going to give you the medicine cabinet 101 on birth control pills and what you should have. So if you are, say, all of a sudden experiencing acne and mood swings, just like a lot of teenagers, that's what your hormones are doing. They're going up and down. So basically, as doctors, we want to prescribe for you a monophasic birth control pill. And what that means is a birth control pill that has estrogen and progestin in it, but it doesn't change throughout the cycle. So it stabilizes those teenage-type hormones. So what you see in this is that all the pills are going to have the same dosage, for either 21 or 24 days, and then it's gonna have those placebo pills. Now, if you're suffering from spotting between periods, so then we might want a phasic pill or triphasic, biphasic pill. And so what you'll see in our next cabinet is what we call a triphasic pill. And what you can see is the different colors. They're like color coded to make it a lot easier for everyone. That means there's different dosages of those estrogen and progestins in those pills so that they sort of go up and down and mimic your, real, your, your regular cycle if you weren't on pills. And they stabilize that line in your uterus to try and help with the breakthrough bleeding. Now, for our other one, if you have extreme PMS or you have heavy bleeding, you may want to get rid of that period altogether. I mean, why suffer, ladies, right? So then you might talk to your doctor about this cabinet, which is the extended cycle pills. And basically, this means you don't have a period for either three or four months. And all my patients say, is this OK for me? Is it good for you? It's absolutely fine. Now, if you're someone who suffers from headaches or um, migraines, things like that, you want to stay away from estrogen as much as possible. So you want a lower estrogen pill or, better than that, a no estrogen type of birth control. And that is the mini pill. Well, these moms have heard about that. And that's a progestin-only pill. And basically, it's not as effective as a combination with the estrogen and progestin. Those make those more effective. But this is going to keep you from getting those migraines and headaches, or at least make them, you know, keep you from getting them not as bad. So if you have nausea, um, basically the best thing to do is, one, uh, decrease some of the estrogen, but two, bypass that stomach. So now we have some pills that don't go through the stomach, right? You have, pill you have things like the ring, the vaginal ring. So that's, that still has estrogen and progestins in it, so it still has the hormones, but it's vaginally, so it should take away some of that nausea. Also, there's non-hormonal contraception like the IUD, which gets put in the uterus. Now, last, if you're, you know, just had a baby, and remember, ladies, breastfeeding is not birth control. Your doctor should talk to you about when you start to resume sex again, because your partner's going, hey, when can we start? That you can take the mini pill or the progestin only pill while you're breastfeeding. Right? I tried the mini pill, I just got bloated though. What so. you have to remember with this is always condoms for STD protect protection.